Hey, it's Danielle McCulley here in Seattle, also known as DMAC, and today I wanted to make a video about the FSO harmonic scanner and the Agnes scalping system because I get people every day asking me which one is better, which one I prefer. So I wanted to make a video and kind of break down the systems and show you the differences and I don't know, just share my opinion on what I think is better on the harmonic scanner, what's better on the Agnes, just to give you an overall breakdown. And hopefully for those of you out there that are kind of interested in both systems but don't know which one is best for you, um, hopefully this video will help you out. But basically I think it's going to come down to really a personal preference and your style of trading. Um, that's going to determine which system is going to be a better fit for you. So right now I have the FSO harmonic scanner pulled up on my screen and like I said I use this different than I use the Agment. So with that being said I use this mainly for intraday and swing trades. Now does that mean you cannot scalp with the FSO harmonic scanner? Of course not. You can still scalp with this system as well but I think a lot of people when they think about scalping they're just thinking oh one minute or five minute time frame because I want to get in and I want to get out but like I've said all along you can scalp on any time frame just because you're on the one hour doesn't mean you have to sit there for an hour you can catch you know your 20 or 30 pips and be done sometimes that may just be one or two candles on a higher time frame so you can definitely still scalp with this um, the lowest time frame that I used to use I, I no longer use it but I used to use the five minute chart. Okay. And sometimes I will have someone purchase this system and then, you know, they're sending me messages saying, Oh, I'm not getting any signals. I've had it for a couple of days now and I'm just not getting enough signals. Is there something wrong with it? Well, you have to keep in mind that this is scanning for completed harmonic patterns. Okay. And so you may not get as many signals as you would with the Agment system because the Agment was created for scalping. So you're going to get signals with the Agment all throughout the day. So um, I like trading harmonics. Um, but for me, I'm sorry, this is on my VPS. There we go. But for me, when I trade harmonics, I really like to trade the C to the D leg and then turn around and trade the completed pattern so you kind of get a two for one and one of the main differences with the harmonic scanner and the agment is that the FSO scanner is going to give you these entry points it's going to give you a TP1, a TP2 and a stop loss so I had someone yesterday that was like, oh, I, I like the Agrit, but I'm looking at the FSO. I'm the type of trader who likes to just set my trade and forget about it, which is fine. I think you can do that with both systems, but if you're not sure on where to set your take profits or your stop loss, you know, your entries and things like that, then the FSO harmonic scanner um, that has the Agrit beat as far as that concern. Because with the Agment, you're not going to have this information and you have to be your own, you have to determine your own TP areas and stop loss and entries and things like that. So, I don't know. So, I think that the FSO Harmonic Scanner, as far as if you're someone that doesn't understand or know how to set your take profits and stop loss and things of that nature then you may want to consider the um, FSO harmonic scanner now if you have your settings set to five minutes um, you will get a lot of signals on that five minute time frame but what I've noticed is that a lot of the signals on the five minutes they're not as strong like like I always say an indicator is always stronger on the higher time frame so what I've noticed in the past is that a lot of patterns on the five minute time frame 
sometimes they will overextend and they'll extend overextend so far that the the um, pattern is no longer valid so that's something to be aware of and that's why I just recently um, deleted the five minute chart from my settings so I only deal with the 15 minute and up all right so other people want to know which system is more accurate and my answer to that is if I had to go off of my experience um, I think they're both pretty accurate but I would have to say that the harmonic scanner is a little bit more accurate than Diagnet and the reason I say that is because like I said I'm familiar with harmonics and Fibonacci and they're very powerful especially if you use them on the higher time frames so basically I would have to go with you know the harmonic scanner being a little bit more accurate because on the Agment let's just jump over here on the Agment see over here on the Agment as we all know you know you will have the signals the main signals that will repaint um, even sometimes the white arrows will repaint so nothing you can do about it I don't know um, but I do add in as a bonus these little dots that are non repainting signal entry signals or confirmation signals whatever you want to call them but um, that's one of the differences I think so with the Agment you know if you're looking for something that's going to give you more signals then you probably like the Agment over the FSO harmonic scanner and the one thing I will say about the Agment I think it can be used for scalping intraday and swing trading so you can use it for a little bit of everything you can use it for a little bit of everything whereas you know with the harmonic scanner I would recommend that for intraday and um, swing trading but like I said you can scalp with that also um, it's totally up to you but for those of you that like those lower time frames that five minute to one minute then you're probably going to be better off getting the agnet that's just my opinion I don't know I'm just letting you know what I think so as I was saying you know the thing about the Agment is it doesn't give you your take profit areas and your stop loss and stuff like that so if you're new and you don't understand how to um, set those things like you know oh, this thing is getting on my nerve um, let's see if I can get that off well of course no it's stuck but let's just refresh that okay so if you're somebody that's new and you don't know how to set your take profits and stuff like that um, I always say that you can use Fibonacci uh, most people use the the 38.2 and the 38 point um, no yeah most people use the 38.2 and the 61 point eight for take profit so if you was going from this swing low to this swing high you know so this will be this level here would be your TP one this level here will be your TP two I don't know you can set a TP three or a TP four if you want that's totally up to you and then as far as you know setting your stop loss you would want it to be somewhere behind this this high where price hasn't been so that's the only I, I don't even consider it a downfall of the Agment because when you think about it this system was made for scalping and when you're scalping you kind of have to be your own take profit and stop loss and especially if you're using the one minute you're gonna have to sit here and you're gonna have to you know kind of watch the trades play out 
So I hardly, I don't use the one minute at all. It's just, I don't know, it just gives me anxiety and it's just too much noise. And the five minute is a little bit better. Now I can deal with the five minute, but sometimes it's still, I don't know, a little bit too much noise for me. So that would be one of the main differences. You know, if you want something where you can just kind of set your trays and go, then you probably would do better get you probably would do better getting the um FSO harmonic scanner. Now you can do that with the Agnet too, but I think it's going to require you to, you know, have a little bit of knowledge about price action. So cuz you don't want to come in here and say, "Okay, I got a white arrow. I'm going to enter this. I'm going to enter this right now." And then let's say you only had like a 20 pip go or 10 pip go whatever it was you say i'm going to enter this and then you you set your your take profit for somewhere i don't know down here somewhere well that's 20 about 20 something pips right and then you just set it and you set your stop loss somewhere back here let's say you set your stop loss back there and you just left the trade well, the thing about the Agnet, like I said, we know that these signals right here, this can repaint. Um, just because it shows you it's about to reverse and you've got this white arrow, um, like I said, I would still draw a trend line like that. Because, yeah, you can say, okay, I'm, I'm entering this sale, but then you come back. And if the market creates a higher high, then you it's hit your stop loss and then you're you're stopped out. So that's something to keep in mind. And I kind of use the Agmin for scalping. I'll use it for intraday. I'll use it for swing trades. But to me, I'm mainly using the Agmin for an additional confirmation because I do my own technical analysis. And things like that and there's some um, yeah there's some good um, indicators that you can add for additional confirmation too but in order to be successful with the aggregate I think you have to have a basic at least the basic knowledge of price action why does my voice always squeak I don't know but <clears throat> It's because I'm so soft-spoken, I think. So when I try to talk loud, <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, I think you need to have the basic knowledge of price action. You know, if you want to get, if you want to get, you know, some good results. Like, I don't know, I'm just looking at this. This is the five minute. You know, so it could be like a nice little bullish, not not bullish, uh, bearish little flat flag bear, and things like that. You know, you just have to be able to recognize reversal patterns and things like that because the the more confluences you have with the agnet, you know, the better your results are going to be. So, again, to me, it's just a matter of a personal preference you know what I like you may not like and what works for someone else may not work for you so I don't know if you're out there and you're trying to figure out which system best works best with your trading style um, yeah you just have to kind of weigh out the pros and the cons of each system like I said I think and this is an example, a prime example that's, you know, kind of playing out like, you know, price pin this to, um, is that the 50? Wait. Yep. Yeah. Um, see how the price pin this 50 right here and then it is, is pulling back. So again, so if you were like, I'm just going to sit this, I'm going to set this trade. I got the white confirmation arrow. I'm going to enter the sale set my tp for 20 pips and then i'm gonna come back and see how much money i made well depending on how tight you got your your um, stop loss you know this look like this could 
pull back and maybe hit your stop loss. I don't know. And that's another thing. Like <laughs> a lot of people, I don't know. Some people don't mind sitting here and looking at the trade play out. Um, that will drive you crazy. Well, I mean, I used to do that when I first started trading, but it will drive you crazy. Like, you know, just you have to do some analysis and, you know, trust your analysis and just kind of go with it, you know. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I don't know. I If I had to choose one, I don't think I could choose one. I don't think because I would choose them for different reasons. I mean, I like the Agment better than the harmonic scanner because you can. I mean, I'm not saying overall, overall, I like it better, but I'm just saying I like the Agment more when it comes to being able to use it for different trading styles like scalping, intraday trading, and swing trading. You can do it all with the harmonic, I mean, with the Agment system. You can do it with, all with the harmonic system too. That's the thing. But the Agment is going to be, um, it's more simplified. It's its simple. You know, you got your arrows here and you're just kind of, you know, waiting for your confirmations to enter the trade. And I know a lot of people that purchase the Agment, they got it and want to rely on it because they don't do technical analysis and they don't mark up charts and things like that. And that's fine, but you still have to have a basic knowledge of price action. If you do not, you're probably going to struggle a little bit. And that's with either, that's with both systems, you know. So, um, the Agment will simplify your trading and it is really simple. But to me, I think the um, Harmonic Scanner is going to be a little bit more accurate. And it's only because it deals with harmonics and Fibonacci. That's all harmonics are. They're just advanced Fibonacci. So in order to stand, in order to understand harmonics, you have to have some knowledge of Fibonacci. If you don't, I know some people like harmonics to say, I want to trade harmonics, and then they don't know anything about Fibonacci. It's just... I don't know. I don't think you can do it that way. <laughs> so you, you kind of have to start with the Fibonacci and things like that. But I'm not saying that you have to study and know everything about Fibonacci in order to use this system. That's another good thing because all you know is that, hey, okay, I don't know anything about harmonics, but the system found a completed harmonic pattern. So it might be a good time to enter this trade, you know? So I mean, both of the systems are simple, and the harmonic scanner used to have an edge on the Agman because it had this Maxwell equation, but now on the new version of the Agman, as you can see, you know, it has been added too. So it's totally up to you. And so we're back here on GJ. You see this? Now you you saw this. This is a live. Um, you know, this is the market. This is this is live. So you saw this. It just repainted, and this is a prime example of why I said um, to me that the harmonic scanner is a little bit more accurate. You know, Fibonacci's and harmonics are very powerful. Now, this signal was here, but I told you guys, like price action came down, it pinned this 50 and then it started to pull back and it's still pulling back so look remember we said that we said you would have set, set your stop loss above this signal here when it was here okay so you just got stopped out it just hit your stop loss you didn't make any money you probably lost a little bit and yeah we, we're just watching it just pull back and we're just watching it repaint and this is another reason why I do not use the lower time frame. This is what I mean by there's too much noise. Like on to me, like on the um, higher time frames, your your trades are just a lot smoother. Um, I don't know. Some people s say they have even seen the you know the entry arrows repaint 
on the higher time frames, but I haven't seen them paint on the higher time frames. Um, but definitely these lower ones. And see, I, I, I switched back and look, the white arrow is gone. So if that's a deal breaker, the repainting is a deal breaker for you, then I don't know what to tell you. But again, like I said, I do give you know, as a bonus for those who purchase, you know, either system from me, I have a lot of little goodies that I uh, give the chat group, you know, so a lot of people like these little entry dots here. And I'll tell you, if this signal is done repainting and you get this little entry dot and the agnet confirmation, it's usually a good signal. So this we just witnessed right here live, you know, so this did repaint. The white arrow is now gone. So that's I don't know, that's one of the I guess cons about the um Agnet system. Now let's see, as far as the harmonic scanner, you know, they these patterns are pretty solid, but like I said, they're harmonics and some of them they will extend. So you still have to know when to enter. You just can't say, okay, this pattern is complete. I'm going to enter at, you know, 1.28241. Now, um what I like to do with this system is you can draw a trend line and wait for the break, but sometimes that will be too late. So, you know, so sometimes it'll be too late. You see how that will be too late? You know, you've you've already missed, let's see how many pips. You've already missed like 40 pips. So that's a lot. So sometimes drawing the trend line, and this is on the 30 minute, it, you know, it's, it will give you, you miss out on a lot of pips. And then, I mean, you still can catch 30 if it, you know, the TP1. So sometimes a trend line is not always the best answer. But what I like to do is I like to wait until there is maybe like one, two, or three candles in, just depending on the time frame. And also I'm looking at the candlestick patterns. So as you can see it, you know, I say like the price is getting wicked. You know, there's a lot of wicks down here. A lot of wicks to this little zone area right here. And also what? You got a double bottom. Boom, boom. And you can look down here on the Maxwell. You see the same W right there. And then it's going up. So even if you... And I think I remember this pattern. I think it was actually over here. So this was over here. It pulled up and then when it pulled back, it extended back over here. So, I don't know, pe some people will consider that repainting and stuff like that, but sometimes that's just what you get with harmonics. They extend. Some patterns extend, especially the crab. And as you can see, this is a bullish crab. Um, and the crab is an extension pattern. So that's something to be, um, you have to be aware of. But, let's see. If you come down here, look at Maxwell. It's just beautiful, straight up. So you could have entered. I'm not sure why my um, VPS keeps doing this, but yeah, I have it on a VPS. That way it just doesn't bog down my computer, slow anything else down. So, you know, right there, line that up. And that's what I like to do. So if I got this pattern, I come over here, I line this up, and I look at price to see what it's going to do. And I was just like, okay, I like that. And then I would try to enter as close to this entry as possible because I know that this is not going to pull back. So that's my opinion about both of the systems. If you are the type of person that kind of, you know, you like the entry day, and the swing trades, the long-term trades, then I think the harmonic scanner may be a better fit for you. But, you know, I use the Agma for intraday and swing trades as well. So it just, 
again it comes down to a personal preference and your trading style so that's all i have for you today i've been rambling um for too long <laughs> so uh hopefully you guys have find this video helpful um i think they are both great systems i'm not just saying that because i'm an affiliate for the systems but i use them both um and that's why you know i try to share them with share them with uh others because i i've had good results with both systems so um yeah i i like them both i'm very big on Fibonacci and harmonics. So I think this this system, the scanner, is a little bit more accurate than the Agnet. But before I go, let's just hop right back over to GJ and see what it's doing. And this is GJ. We know that pair can be crazy. But I don't know. It's still not, um, you know, it looks like it may drop, start dropping now. But again, from the earlier example you've already got stopped out of this trade and i don't know it may not drop but look at down here it's just consolidating so you don't want to be in the market right now anyway and it actually may come up here and pin is 800 before dropping so you just never know all right so there will be links to um there will be a link below this video if you guys are interested in either of these systems um i will put the link for the agment as well as the link for the fso harmonic scanner and if you have any questions about either system um just reach out to me on facebook and i, I just kind of want to watch this because look what did i say it's probably going to push up and it's going to pin this 800 you know, you just have to know price action. You see, it repainted again. But remember, we're on the five minute. So, and you know what? That This is a prime example. I'm glad this is happening because now people can see for themselves. This is a prime example. If you would have used the trend line and waited for the break, there's no way you can get faked out with this system a trend line that's basic that's like forex 101 you know so it's still pushing up still pushing up and you know what you would have seen that you like uh oh well i didn't get the break so i'm just going to leave this one alone and wait for the next setup and the thing about that if you go on the 15 you can see and that's why I like to start my analysis on the higher time frames because it gives you the bigger picture. You can see what price is doing. But you can see, it's, like I said, it's, it's a downtrend, but this is a pullback. So what is it doing on the five minute? It's pulling back also. All right. So there you have it. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I If I had to pick one. I, it would be hard for me to pick one just because I use them differently. But I will say that I think the harmonic scanner is more accurate. You're not going to get as many signals, but you're going to get some really good signals. I'm not saying that the Agnes signals are bad, but you just have to have a lot of more confluences with the Agnet. If you want to get some good results, or improve your results with the Agment, you need to have some, yeah, you need to have other confluences. So this thing is going to keep pushing up. Like I said, I bet it's going to come up here and pin this 800 before it drops. Or it might keep pushing up. I don't know. It might come up and it might test this high up here. That's what the market likes to do. Likes to retest previous highs and lows and all that good stuff. So um like i said i understand price action so it's doing exactly what i said it was going to do and this is why the signals the repainting of the agment this is why that doesn't bother me because i have some knowledge about price action and i'm telling you it's always going to be your best indicator price action so hopefully 
you guys found this video helpful again if you're interested in either one of these systems go ahead and click the link below the video if you have any questions about them before you purchase or maybe you already purchased it and you need help with something or you're struggling with something reach out to me on facebook i'll drop that link below the video as well and yeah we can see um yeah, we can figure out what you're doing wrong or what areas that you need help with. All right. So there we go. This video is way too long, but look at that price doing exactly what I said it was going to do. All right. So, um, yeah, the market today is the opening of a new week. And I hope everybody have a great trading week. I'm excited about it. Got some new strategies that I want to, um, implement so happy trading and i will see you guys in the next video